Ladies and gentlemen, it's King of Kings World Grand Prix 2014 Heavyweight Tournament live on Eurosport. It's time for first fight. KOK Grand Prix first semi-final. Blue corner, fighter from Moldova, Stepan Kirlik. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, celebrities around the world, here we are. Buonasera, Domnilo, Domnilo, that means hello. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Kishno, Moldova. This is the main event of the evening. We've had six fights, now we're going into these fights, which are going to be the next six fights of mayhem, of King of Kings style fights. Here at the fabulous Manage Stadium in the capital of Moldova, Kishno. Making his way into the ring, led by Andrew Grosser, the trainer. Former fighter as well of the Moldovan Thai Boxing Club. Also referee, Stefan Kurlig. His opponent, ladies and gentlemen, the red corner fighter representing Belgium, Thomas Baneste. And facing the man already inside those four ropes, a very formidable, massive looking mammoth of a man representing Belgium, Thomas Van Esta. Contender. Ladies and gentlemen, fighting for Blue Corner, 30 years old, 190 centimeter, official weight 111.6 kilogram. His official record: six wins, two by chaos, no losses. Eagle champion, European silver medalist, fighter representing Thai Boxing Club, Moldova, Stepan. So here we go. King of Kings style fight here. First fight in the plus 93 kilograms and these two guys are well over that. 120 kilograms, that's two of me, Thomas Van Est in the red corner to my right and on my left in the blue corner, the man from Moldova, Stepan Kurlik. Stefan there in the blue gloves, now in the southpaw, that's the right guard, right stance. Representing here, the hometown. 115 kilograms. And the guy facing him who looks a lot bigger than 120, one of his thighs is about as big as me. That guy's got humongous shoulders. If you painted him green, he would be, and you know what I mean, the Hulk. 
But will those big arms, big legs, and big muscles start to gas out quickly? Let's see. Joining us around the world in 35 countries. Thank you for joining us. This is gonna be explosive. Four-man heavyweight Grand Prix. One of these will go straight to the final. Any four-man, obviously you start in the semis. Two hundred and thirty-five kilograms, and that is without the referee. King of Kings, Mr. Danatus Simonatus, who's just to my right, and the gentleman who helped put the show together with him, the two fabulous promoters, Daniel Doran, who I was talking to in the break. have put an awesome show on. The preliminary is the first half of the fight, which was absolutely awesome. Six fights, but we're now into the main event, six fights. Nice combination there from Stefan. Kurlik goes upstairs, but goes downstairs with the low kick. Thomas Van Est. Stefan Kurlik there winds up a corkscrew uppercut, taking his time. Because remember, this is a tournament. If you're wondering why they've not come out so fast. If it goes to three three minute rounds, which it's scheduled for, that's nine minutes. And if they go to the final and fight another nine, that's 18 minutes of fighting. That takes some doing, that takes some stamina. So obviously they're now picking the shots rather than going for a knockout, and picking up any injuries or sustaining any collateral damage that might take them into the final. So Stefan Surlik, who's been tipped for one for the final. Blood comes from the nose of the Belgian man. But he lands a nice hook to the side of Stefan's head, but unfazed. Well, we had a nice little measurement, but first blood is drawn from the man from Moldova. Moldova takes the first round, in my opinion, just narrowly, but that's how I saw it. My unofficial card. So in goes the tissues, up the nose, and round the ring, the ladies goes. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is a great heavyweight fight. Here we see some of the slow motion action. Boom. Is that the one that did the damage? To the nose of the big man. Three minutes in the bank. Six minutes remaining. Fight strategy in that one minute in the corner. Each fighter will have the trainer and the two seconds to help them out. Very important knowledge will be given in that one minute rest. A referee there, making sure the corner is clean. No water's on the ring, so they slip. Good referee. So at the side port, Stefan Surlik, that's the right stance, a right guard, right foot forward. And in the orthodox, the big, formidable-looking man from Belgium, Thomas Van Est. One of these two men will take a place into the final. Well, sat ringside by the side of me, we have the Polish commentator, Lukas, the Romanian. Commentator Valentin, sorry, it's the pause in the action now, just looking again, the nose bleeds from the big man. The heavier of the two, 120 kilograms. One big man, look at the size of his thighs, whoosh. But Stefan Surlik, equally as big, 115 kilograms. Both of these guys looking in great shape. 
Now, I don't know whether those big muscles are done through bodybuilding, but they could have a play in the outcome because, as somebody once said to me, you don't hit people with your muscle. Muscles can be a help, but they can also be a hindrance. Too much muscle needs energy. Energy has to come from somewhere. Big muscles take up a lot of energy, take a lot of water, and takes out your stamina. So, will that play a part in this fight or not? Well, the Moldovan crowd has come alive here, absolutely deafening behind me and around me. Oh, he's unloading that, and it's gonna be an eight count. It is a big combination of punch and kicks. Blood pours from the Belgian's nose. And that'll go down well for Stefan, making this a 10-8 round, picks his shot. And hardly hear myself speak above this fantastic crowd here. In the Manaj Arena, Kishno Moldova. For this King of Kings style kickboxing fights, three three-minute rounds, an extra round if it goes to a draw. Uh, Stefan Surlik from Moldova is certainly picking his shots well. A little bit of blood on the side of Stefan's head, but I don't know if that's his own or it's come from the nose of his opponent. <laughs> so there we have it, two rounds. Now we can see in the crowd, Samuel Pagel, our man from Fight Club, Eurosport, with the famous Daniel Gita, heavyweight K1 fighter, kickboxing champion himself, real legend, and obviously the promoter, Damia Doren and Mr. Donatus Simonatus. Both these guys have made what it is you can see here today, King of Kings. FEA, Fighting Entertainment Association, in association with Eagles. World Grand Prix. Fighters. Heavyweight tournament, four-man. One of these will go straight through to the final. Two rounds in the bank. Last round remaining. Does it come with interest? Will they have to go a fourth if it goes to a draw? And that will be a testament of their stamina. So here we go. Round three of three. As long as there is a decision. Stefan Serlik goes upstairs. Bit of a slow kick there coming back from Thomas. Big shot from Thomas, but so it's a combination back. Oh, beautiful left body kick there from Stefan to the ribs of Thomas. Clean, clinical, straight to the point, a shin to the ribs. And a nice jab cross coming from the southpaw. That's the right stance of Stefan Surlik. Well, he's fought very cleanly, as too as his opponent, it must be mentioned, because remember, in a tournament, whether you're doing a four-man or an eight-man, try not to take injuries through to the next round. But you have to do enough to win, so it is real is a game of strategy. Physical and mental chess of pain and a victory will give you the pleasure of the win. Oh, headshots again go upstairs after taking the body kick from Thomas. Well, the cleaner of the two for me is Stefan Kurlik, but nice uppercut straight. Thomas has had a share of the fight, but just feel he's a little bit out of range. Blood comes from the nose again. Nice body kick goes in, but takes two shots. 
Stefan unloading with the Moldovan raw cry as he lands the shots. These modern day gladiators, athletes of the ring. Good body kick there from Thomas again. So 40 seconds left in this third and final round of this four-man World Grand Prix tournament here in Kishno, Moldova. Both fighters have been active, but also have been clean, knowing full well that they might have to go another fight after this. So both have not rushed into anything dangerous. But it's Stefan Kurlik to me, the one who's been the busier. Ooh, big clubbing shots from Thomas there, right on the bell. But too little, too late. He puts his hand up to the crowd, but the crowd, I think, personally, are seeing it the way I'm seeing this, and I'm going to go Moldova. Moldova Thai Boxing Club trainer Andre Grossu and his team there. Has he done enough? Here we go with some nice slow motion action from our fabulous camera crew at King of Kings and FEA Eagles. Look at that, fabulous. I love slow motion action. Boom, bish, bash, bosh. In they go. Bang. So, tentative moments here as the fighters are brought to the centre. Here we go. Yeah, I thought so. Win after three rounds on points. Goes through to the final. Disappointed. Thomas Van Es, but it was the right decision for me. Judges here, ringside, have been giving a real good account of themselves on the first six fights. To me, they've got the seventh fight right again. Great judging, great officials, great show. Look at that, what a beautiful packed audience. Thousands and thousands here in attendance. This last show here in Moldova, 20th of December, 2014, the last show. What a Christmas cracker this is turning out to be. Awesome.